My pronouns are he, not him. Cause I'll never be him. How are you little shits going today? Good? Alright, so there are a few serious things I need to talk about. Um, I spoke to my brother last night for a while. It was really nice. I spoke to him for a while about my stream and and uh, basically everything that I do really. And he was asking me questions. Just like wondering what's going on in my head. What's in your head? In your head. He asked me, what's in your head? And I was like, uh, well, a lot of things, you know, because I'm not going to lie. Every streamer at some point, many times, many points in their streaming career, they always have those moments where they think a lot about their stream and they think about like what direction they want to take their stream and their content. Sometimes they second guess themselves. You know, it's very common. We're all humans, right? And I've been, I'm not going to lie. I've been second guessing my, my content l lately. And, um... I've been trying to ask myself questions like what it is I really want to get from streaming. What it is I want to get from just everything that I do in general. And I was asked, because like, I'm not going to lie. It's natural to compare yourself to other people, right? Sometimes you, things like envy and jealousy and that kind of stuff gets in the way and that could be harmful. But, you know, content creators always try to look at other content creators for ideas and and that kind of stuff. And I've been looking at people like Simply, I mean, I mean Simply has been my closest friend since 2014 so simply has always been someone i look up to and look and i just look at to like get ideas from or learn stuff from and i've been and not only simply but quite a lot of other content creators in general i've been looking at these people to kind of get ideas to try to understand is this the direction i want to take my stream to i've been thinking a lot and i've been getting stressed out a lot about it recently and i've noticed a problem where the main problem is that I am starting to try to compare myself to people like Simply. I'm just using... Simply is just a random example I'm using. So um, don't think that he's like the only person that I compare myself or think about. Sometimes I think like, why am I not more like Simply? And that makes me feel like I'm doing something bad. And I need to stop thinking that way. Because it's not healthy, healthy for me to feel like I need to be a lot like Simply. Because the truth is that my content style is different. The vibe that I give off is different. I'm not like that. Simply has this very meme very quick-witted comedy style content. I have a more serious style content where a lot of my content is talking about serious topics and conversations and, and just interesting life stuff. Simply is more about just talking about random funny sh meme stuff, you know, which is a very big trend on Twitch. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm, we're, we're very different, you know, and like, I keep thinking that I need to be more meme style. I need to be more meme -y. I need to be more like funny all the time. But the, the truth is, I don't have to always be funny. I don't always, not every streamer is funny. Some streamers get popular because they, they always rant about shit and and people like listening to them rant, you know? And some people get popular just because they're fucking amazing at providing interesting content or just amazing at video games and are good at everything they do. Like me. <laughs> but the, my thing is, it's, it's different. I am I have a different vibe and I feel like I'm still trying to find that thing that I need to, that, that is my thing, but I don't know why I'm still trying to find my thing because I th I think I do know what my thing is, but I'm like n my part of me is like not accepting it because I'm afraid that it's not the right thing. But that's bullshit. Exactly what you're what you guys are saying right now is right. All I have to care about is just be myself. And people tell people tell me they like watching me because they like me and my style and my personality. Some people say they come to watch me because they want to learn about like interesting topics. They want or some people come because they want to watch me play I do speedruns at high level and I just need to focus on those things that people can watch me for you know and and because we're human beings and we're we're always we're never satisfied I always look at stuff like I always have to look at bigger streamers and wonder why don't I have their viewer account and that is a very bad toxic thing to do it's not good it's way more important that I focus on being happy with where I'm at 
and just focusing about maintaining and getting slightly better every time and not compare myself to anybody else. So I'm actually trying my best nowadays to not watch a lot of streamers because I noticed that the more streamers that I look at, especially bigger streamers, the more that I feel like I'm not doing enough and it's not healthy. And yeah, it's just, it's just, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a trip. So the past two days I didn't stream. Um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you, you probably saw my tweets where I was saying that I need a mental break, which is true. I still need a vacation. It's been two years since because of COVID and everything. I haven't been on a vacation for two years and I'm used to like traveling every four months, you know? So like I am, I'm, I'm, I'm at the point, I really need vacation. I need, I need a vacation where I, I could just lock myself off of gaming and streaming and stuff for a bit and just get a mental restart. Uh, I, I really need that still. And right now I'm kind of just focusing on not stressing out about my content and just having fun. So, and that means if some days I just don't want to speed run or play video games, period, I should, I should, I, I need to feel comfortable and okay with the fact that I could have a stream where I don't actually play a video game. I could have a stream where I just talk for two hours, three hours, and then end my stream. That's fine. To me, in my mind, it still feels like that's not okay. And that's a problem. I should be able to just have a stream where it's just like, I do whatever the fuck I want and be okay with that. It's fine if I don't uh, play a video game or do what I usually do on stream, you know? With that said, my brother brought up, my brother brought up um, Asmongold. You guys know Asmongold, one of the biggest Twitch streamers right now. Asmongold is, was a World of Warcraft streamer and now he's doing Final Fantasy. Asmongold has a similar stream style to me. It's very like uh, ranty sometimes, like he would just go off on like certain topics and he won't be afraid to like talk shit or just be whatever you know he doesn't always focus on trying to be positive or trying to be funny because streaming is not always about that as Gold was actually also talking about the problem of being uh, a one game andy you know like basically if you're known for a single game getting trapped in that bubble where it's like you basically can't do anything but play that game or else you you have no stream basically and that's really bad talking about like how to avoid that and that kind of stuff also he talked about like the struggle of always getting asked the same questions all the time and getting really frustrated at that and i was like yeah this is a big problem like because you guys know i always talk about that like sometimes you guys know that I talk about that. like people there are a lot of people that always ask the same question every single day I get at least a few questions that are always the same thing and like if you think about it like I was telling my brother last night like I've been playing Mario 64 for seven years a new viewer comes to my chat and they're like hey I just started watching your YouTube and Mario speedruns I was wondering what does LBLJ mean like you know those kind of questions that's like I couldn't be fucked to like answer those questions like I I do not care about talking about LBLJ a thousand times a day and like sometimes you can't help but to feel like people think that you care about talking about shit like that like you haven't talked about it for the last seven years and as a streamer you can't help but to feel frustrated it's like oh my god can you please know that and ask that question that's so annoying but you as a streamer you can't like shit talk the, the viewer and be like shut up i'm not gonna answer your question because that's that's bad like it's not the viewer's fault that they don't know that you are tired of that question because they're a new viewer they probably don't know about speedrunning. it's not fair to the viewer so like asmongol was talking about like the struggle of knowing how to deal with that and not losing your mind and not getting annoyed because i'm not gonna lie there have been some days where i fa i i was totally turned off of streaming where I was not motivated to stream the next day because I was tired of the same questions and just people pissing me off. And just, I felt like I didn't want to deal with it. And it's a struggle being a streamer and you have to know how to deal with this. Especially if you're a streamer that's known for specific games. If you're a one game Andy, a lot of your chat is going to be about that game and you have to know how to deal with that. So it's like, yeah, okay, okay. The problem with commands is that it's very spammy. And people don't want to see just commands being posted in chat all the time. And honestly, I kind of don't want to see it either. It's not its not that comfortable to just see a bunch of commands all the time. Because it also makes the streamer feel like 
those viewers would rather either for the streamer like they just don't care about what the streamer is saying or doing and all they want to know is about the information for that game and nothing else so for the streamers not really that comfortable either at the end of the day commands are probably the best answer for people who want immediate answers uh it's the best solution but also it's like it's about finding ways to explain to your viewers that you're not going to be available for these kind of questions for example they're they're Asmund Gold talked about some streamers that the way they do it is basically like when they're going to do a certain segment, when they're going to start a certain segment in their stream or something, they would they would literally tell the stream and be like, hey guys, we're going to be doing this now and I just want to let you guys know um, I'm not going to be answering any Mario questions right now. Uh, if you have any Mario questions, um, use the commands or ask in chat. I'm sure somebody in chat could help you guys out. And you kind of let the stream know, listen, I'm not going to be answering any Mario questions right now because we're going to be doing some we're going to be doing something else and I would prefer if we don't if I don't get bombarded with Mario questions. And then you just go from there. So then when people ask questions that you don't want to answer, then I mean the streamer it's up to the streamer to ignore it or not at the end of the day. But it, it it's it's you know, it's finding those ways to deal with that instead of like like a some, the thing that I do sometimes, which is bad, is that I let the questions get to me and then it makes me emotionally like close myself off and then I feel shitty and then it just makes me want to end my stream. And that's really bad. It's just a snowball effect that you need. I, need, I, I as a streamer need to know how to handle. And it's tough, dude. Like this is all, all of what I'm explaining right now is a tough part of streaming. It's what makes streaming such a hard job mentally. Apart from the fact that you're actually putting on a show every single night, like that in itself is pretty tiring, you know? Make a full Q&A section you could link to. I think, actually, I think doing um, AMAs or Q&As in general, like I could literally have a stream where I'd be, all right, tonight on my stream, I'm going to be doing Q&As like for two hours. I think that would be fun, to be honest. I think literally having segments of my stream when i'll be like okay we're gonna do an hour of q a ask me everything that you want to know about mario about everything and i would just literally i would go deep into it and then after i'll be like all right guys no more mario questions next q a we'll do it again you know like that is just more uh content that i could do in my stream and that i could in i could actually make it an enjoyable thing out of like an otherwise kind of annoying situation i don't like Ever since I dyed my hair, it's been more like stiff and my hair product is like not looking as good. Now my hair just looks like, it looks like one of those old brooms that need like, you know when you have a really old broom and it just looks like a fucking mess?